What is up guys? Today we're doing an ARP9 unboxing by G and G. So right off the bat, the box is actually really good. And on the back it just has mm, just about G and G lo logos and all that stuff. So we're gonna be opening the box. Okay, so you've got a warranty. Uh 90 day warranty okay that comes with it we're just gonna set it over here and then next let me see hold on I don't know if, <laughs> I don't even know what this is all right so it looks it's just a catalog of airsoft guns G and G ones it's pretty good I guess and then at last, must just leave the instructions for the ARP-9. So, this does have a built-in MOSFET. So, alright, and then next is the gun itself. Dang, that looks sick. So, we're gonna, we got an enjamming rod. And it's super small, too, because I guess the gun... The gun's barrel is small too, so. We got a uh, magazine. There's BBs inside, I guess. There's already BBs inside. Hmm. It's supposed to rec replicate a 9mm mag. Huh. It's made out of polymer. Hmm. Hmm. It's a pretty good high quality mag. How do you put the BBs in? Oh, okay, right here. Right here, here um, there is a little flip-up thing, and you pour the BBs in there. So we'll set that off to the side. And next is the gun. So we're going to be taking... So now we got the ARP-9. That looks pretty sick. This gun looks nice. So it does have a stock. Oop. Okay, hold on. <laughs> With two placements. So turn it towards me. That's the longest. I don't, I personally don't like long stocks. And the short version, gotta bend down. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It has uh, the firing, or the selector switch is really nice and high quality. Also, the charging handle up here is uh, on both sides. And I believe. This hop up inside is called a rotary style hop up. I'm not sure. Um, and then flip up iron sights. I never use those, but yeah. Um, hmm. It does have a speed trigger. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess you would. I wonder if you'd consider it a speed trigger, but yeah, it does. Also, another thing you can do is that you can take the stock off. And play without it if you want just like I don't know like this or something and the battery compartment is on the end and flip this around so what you do is on the end of the gun or here let me turn a different angle it's so I'll just keep it over here all right so on this end there's a button you press it and it pulls off 
and then you can put your battery in. Now this does have a MOSFET in it, like I said. So I'm gonna get my uh, LiPo 11.1, .1, and I'm gonna put it on it. Put it in, all right. Now, one thing with this gun is that you can't put this cap back on because of the cords hanging out, but it doesn't matter because you can just go like this. Tuck the cords in and you just put back on the stock like this. And just like that, it's back on. The cords are hanging out on the bottom, but they'll be fine. They're not gonna get hit or anything. So we're just gonna do a dry fire to hear how she sounds. This is semi. We're gonna do a little uh, speed. That's pretty nice. And the full auto. And now, like I said, this does have a three round burst. So what you do is uh, put it on semi, shoot it, and hold it down for 10 seconds. One, two, three. Oops, <laughs> that was an accident. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Just extra few seconds. Let go, switch it to full auto. You know when it works is when you go. And then to switch it back, you just put it on semi again and then hold it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you should see it's all back. Okay, it's back. So now we're going to go outside and shoot it. All right, so we're outside now. And then we got full auto. And now I'm gonna try a three numbers now. All right, that is the review on the G&G &G, <laughs> G &G ARP9. Like it and subscribe for more videos. My next video is going to be a gameplay at VIP Airsoft. So we're going to be doing that. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.